morning everyone hope you can see me all right anyway lovely morning we've come out on this uh, nice day because thought we'd have a bit of fun and uh, right Jonathan was saying a scary and driving the wrong side of the road <laughs> and it's been a you know people wonder why don't they well I've done a search on it this morning and I've taken a few notes this isn't all of them. So what I'm going to do is just read you, well it's a bit of the history. It's not the, I didn't do the full lot, so here we go. Right, about 35% of the world's population drives on the left. In the past, most travelled on the left, because in feudal times, most people being right-handed, swordsmen preferred the left to keep the sword arm, the right arm, towards their opponent, which of course makes sense, doesn't it? Plus it was easier and safer to mount the horse from the left because um, you had your sword on the left side so you were less likely to stab yourself in the leg and being right handed, and I know this, it's easier to mount a horse from the left hand side you know, just like a push bike and everything it's, it's, that's why it's your near side Well in the late 1700s Wagon drivers, which had a team of horses in the US and France, sat on a horse because they wanted a seat on the carriage. And they chose the left rear to whip the horses with the right arm, which again makes sense, doesn't it? So because they were sitting on the left, when he went, met others, he wanted to pass them on the right. The reason being that he could then see if the wheels cleared the other wagon coming towards him. Again, that makes sense, doesn't it, you see? So, that's the historian's view of it. Well, now, I'm going to show you why, and this is why we've come to this nice tranquil spot this morning. Might be a tiny bit windy, I'll just step outside a moment and show you. It really is quite a lovely day so far harvest been got here look some left There's an aeroplane buzzing about you might just be out here in the distance I hope it doesn't detract too much but it's quite a nice spot and it's not off the main road um, because this camera rattles I didn't want to uh, Rather than just sit at home and tell you this, I thought it'd be nicer to come out, make it a bit more interesting, and because this camera rattles, you know, I can't, uh, I can't show you when I'm driving by holding it, because people moan, you know, and I didn't want to just do a voiceover. So, anyway, it, there is another reason, right? Now, the re... Sorry about that. Now... Let me pop the camera back there a second for you. There we are. Right. The reason which side the road you drive on is obviously which side of the car they put the steering wheel. And of course there's a reason for that as well. Now, and there are two reasons. And one that I know of, although I can't guarantee it, the obvious place is to put the steering wheel on the right hand side of the car. The reason being, most people being right handed, you steer with your right hand while taking your left hand off to work the gears. You know, that makes sense. There's also of course another reason. And that is, most of you will know, look at pictures of couples sitting together Think of when you were courting, if you can remember that far back. <laughs> right, you have your girlfriend on your left hand side, don't you? You always have your girlfriend on your left hand side because you're right handed. Hey, eh? Think about it. Right. So, it makes sense to have the steering wheel on the right hand side of the car. Now, my first car was left hand drive and if anybody with a left hand drive drives in this country, or anybody with a right hand drive drives where they drive on the right hand side of the road, 
you'll know very well the dangers it poses because you try to overtake something, you pull it out and wham, you hit someone head on, don't you? You can't see. So that denotes which side of the road you drive on, depending which side of the car they put the steering wheel on. So how come that more than half the world drives on the right hand side of the road? Well, part of it is because of Henry Ford. He was the first manufacturer of cars, wasn't he? The first mass producer of cars. And I haven't looked this up again, so excuse me if I'm wrong. I have been known to be occasionally. But he put his steering wheel on the left hand side of the car because that is naturally the near side of the car. The side you get in, the side you get on a horse or you know, on a bicycle. That's your near side of your car. So he put the steering wheel on the left hand side of the car. Which meant you drive on the right hand side of the road. You see? So that again makes sense, doesn't it? So there we are. So, that said, hey, eh? that said, we drive on the correct side of the road. <laughs> Not everyone else, because, as I've just told you, the natural place to put a steering wheel is on the right hand side of the car, for what I've just mentioned. So there we go. <laughs> what do you reckon? Right, what I'll do, and just to scare Jonathan, <laughs> I'll show a tiny bit of video going home on the road. Alright, hope you've enjoyed this. See you soon, lads.